after the creation of the WBS, now I will tell you how to define the activities. So for defining the activities, we have to go to the activities option. So activities option can be selected by either uh, going to the left side toolbar and here you can see the activities uh, button. I will click on this and it will uh, uh, activity tab was already op open. Uh, but uh, yes, for example, if I select the WBS uh, uh, window and I want to go to the activities uh, tab. So I will go to the project and here I will select the activities. So activities tab will be opened. So here you can see the existing WBS. Uh, I, I, we, I will create the activities under this WBS. So defining activities is the process of identifying and documenting the specific actions to be performed to produce the project deliverables. In the process, the work packages are further broken down into activities or tasks. The resulting project document is called activity list. The activity list includes all the activities that are required for the project in sufficient detail for the others to understand what has to be done. So uh, first of all, we have to organize the layout based on the WBS and sort by activity ID. So I'm going to select the uh, layout by WBS. Here you can see that uh, it has already been organized by the WBS. So if it is uh, not organized uh, in this way, it is blank. So you can see that uh, uh, it will remain uh, blank. Uh, you can see that the window of WBS has been disappeared because we have not, if we has uh, not uh, organized by WBS, then it will appear like this. So we have to organize by WBS. Just simply click W. It will go to the WBS option. Select and apply. The other thing is that you have to sort it on the activity level, activity ID. So here you can see this uh, uh, bot. Uh, uh, this uh, triangular uh, button uh, moving towards downward it means that we are sorting the activities uh, on the basis of activity id so uh, i will define the activities uh, uh, in the wbs so uh, for in if uh, in for example if we want to create the activities in the milestone wbs we have to select the milestone wbs uh, then we will add the button add uh, this button uh, it will um, it will uh, going to create the activity name uh, here you can see that the uh, activity uh, wizard has been opened i have told you earlier that uh, while doing the settings uh, in uh, edit preferences uh, that uh, if you want uh, to uh, uh, open the resource or activity wizard you have to check uh, mark the uh, the options so uh, uh, in this uh, uh, for the for your uh, uh, for your example i have uh, kept it uh, unchecked so that how how i can tell you that how to fill the activity wizard here uh, at the top you can see that activity id for example um, uh, we are going to uh, um, start the project uh, uh, with milestone so i will mention as mls 1000 and i um, uh, put, press the tab button it is shifted to the next uh, tab uh, activity name is project start then i will click next here uh, he is asking for the wbs so wbs is already selected uh, right but if you want to change the wbs from here you can um, see this window and uh, you can change accordingly uh, and then click next and then change the activity type here is a, a, a lot of options uh, but you know that the pro project start is the start milestone. So I, uh, I am going to select the start milestone as an activity type, then click next. Here is uh, he's asking that dependent activities, whether uh, you like to assign the uh, predecessor and successor here or not. But uh, in this uh, uh, option, we don't want to uh, link the activities. So uh, I am uh, keeping the option as no continue and clicking the next. Here he is asking for the more details like project expenses, activity codes, and work product and documents. But we don't want to attach these things on this activity here. Next. And here he is, uh, um, we can say that a uh, new activity has been created. 
so by using the activity wizard you can see that it takes a lot of time to create one activity so if we have thousands of activities it will be it will take a lot of time so to avoid to uh, to uh, to avoid the delay in uh, defining the activities we have to uncheck the activity wizard so i am going to the edit toolbar and here i will use the user preferences go to the assistance tab and i am uh, unchecking the uh, resource wizard and activity wizard then i will uh, click close button now uh, I will add an other milestone and you will see that uh, this wizard has been disappeared and you can see that the activities has been added with a increment of 10 units now next activity is uh, next activity milestone is engineering star procurement star so you can add the activities or milestones by uh, using this plus button or uh, using the shortcut key as an insert button. So next activity is uh, next activity milestone is construction start. Project completion. So one more thing I would like to tell you that this is not the uh, 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 hard and fast rule to create uh, uh, these uh, milestone activities. You can uh, describe the milestone activities according to your requirements. Um, uh, now you see that uh, project start activity is showing zero duration. It means that it, uh, its milestone has already been assigned. But engineering, procurement, construction and project completion all are showing the five days uh, activities. So I am going to change the uh, task uh, activity type. So I will go to the general here. You can see the activity type option and I am going to select the start milestone here. After changing the activity type uh, from the task dependent to st start milestone, you can see that its duration has been um, uh, become zero. Then coming to the procurement start, I will assign this as a start milestone again. Procurement start as well start milestone and project completion is the finish milestone so I'm going to change it as finish milestone here you can see that all of these uh, milestones have zero duration and uh, um, the start milestones are showing date in the start for uh, column and the finish milestone is showing here in the um, uh, finish column now I'm going to uh, uh, define the activities in the engineering uh, uh, WBS. So I will go to the uh, general WBS and I will select the uh, uh, I will press the add button and um, the next more uh, next important thing I want, I want to tell you that uh, we can uh, modify the uh, activity ID uh, uh, in such a way that we can identify from the activity ID that whether which in which WBS uh, it is being uh, uh, placed in, in which it is available. So for example, um, this activity is uh, engineering activity and uh, second it is uh, uh, in the general WBS and here I will uh, enter 1010. So I am going to change the name of kickoff meeting. Then I will press the add button or insert key another uh, um, activity can be defined basic engineering plot plan so here we are just defining the activity list we will assign the duration later on now we are going to create the activity list in the architecture WBS. I will define the activity as engineering architecture dash one zero one zero and I will define the activities. For example, we have four main areas main production hall.
raw materials store architecture you can see that uh, architecture uh, um, uh, in the architecture ws we have defined the four major activities till so far we have uh, created the activity list for uh, uh, milestone and engineering and you can see all the activities uh, in the uh, ws of general architecture civil equipment and piping electrical and instrumentation now we are going to define the activities of procurement um, but uh, uh, don't worry regarding the Gantt chart and uh, and uh, also the start and finish date. All the activities are going to be started at the same day uh, because we have not linked uh, the activities together. Yeah. In this exercise, just follow on defining the activities. Now we will define the activities of procurement. First of all, I uh, am going to define the activity of procurement for um, for equipment. Uh, so I am going to write here supply of main production hall equipment See the activities of the procurement which we have created we have defined the a supply of main production hall equipment, supply of utility buildings equipment, supply of pipes and fittings for both of the buildings, then uh, supply of electrical equipment and cables, instrumentation uh, instruments and cables as well. Now we are going to define the activities of the construction. First of all, I will go to the general WBS, then I will define the activity activity can be added by just inserting button or by using this add button and I'm, I'm going to define the mobilization of man one and equipment so see my activity id notation cn for construction gn for general then one zero 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 activity id mobilization of equipment and manpower because at the start when we are going to start the construction and uh, we have to mobilize the equipment and manpower in this way i will define the other activities see i have created all the activity list in all of the wbs's You can see one by one from here i will just right click again and collapse all then i will do it like this one expand it one by one in the milestone wbs you can see all the milestone activities then i will expand the engineering wbs in this way general architecture and all the activities can be seen under the WBS from here now I'm just going to expand all here uh, you can see if the if, if you feel that the row height is uh, low uh, when, when we can increase the uh, row height of these activities simply right click go to the table font and row and if you want to change the height then just unclick keep current row height go to the select height for all the rows i am going to increase its value up to 21 then i will apply you can see that the height of uh, the rows has been increased then coming here if you want to change the activities uh, uh, font go there just simply click your desired font if you want to increase the size just simply click on that size apply you can see uh, the changes has been effected in this window and uh, now i want uh, i will tell you another thing that if you want to align the text in center of start and finish and duration just simply right click go to the columns here 
you will find the original duration just go to the edit column options just align it as center okay uh, aligning in the center it looks presentation a bit beautiful so there is an option which I want to tell you that you can increase the uh, column width as well as you can align it in the center now you can see the changes has been done uh, another thing I want to tell you if uh, uh, you want to check the uh, spell uh, while doing uh, the while doing the activity list uh, there is an uh, there might be some problem uh, for uh, uh, spelling so just simply click f7 you can check spell so i will just uh, correct my spellings so in this way you can check your spell and uh, 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 next step is to add the duration of the activities the durations are very important duration are calculated on the basis of your productivity rates on the basis of your quantity takeoff so uh, 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 the duration is just based on the your uh, uh, required work uh, so now uh, uh, this, this is very simple how to define the duration simply add a column of original duration and change the duration one by one according to your needs suppose kickoff meeting is uh, will remain for one day i will just enter one day basic engineering uh, management had decided to take 10 uh, 10 days for the basic engineering so i have taken 10 days for that plot plan it will take 10 days architecture 44 days in this way i will change home i will modify all the duration and i will show you in the after changes has been done okay, so far we have uh, defined the um, uh, activity list and activity duration uh, as you know that the estimate activity duration is very very important it uh, uh, defines uh, or estimate the number of working hours required number of working hours or days required to complete the job uh, these uh, calculation of uh, duration depends upon experience depends upon historical data expert judgment and uh, quantity takeoff and uh, uh, standard norms and procedures for doing some activity like standard man hours productivity rates set for the defining the activities so uh, i have defined the original duration as well for all the activities then uh, whatever you have made the changes in this uh, layout just simply click layout and save now uh, another thing uh, pre uh, at the start uh, we have changed the activity type by going into the general tab and selecting the required activity type i can show you again in uh, if i click on engineering you can see here the start milestone and the other activities like kickoff meeting basic engineering etc so uh, uh, one option is just to do uh, uh, select the activity and go to the general tab and select activity type there here is another option you can display this uh, activity type uh, field here in the right side in the column field so i am going to uh, uh, add here uh, activity type simply right click and go to the columns and if you are not familiar that where uh, this uh, field is available just simply click available options find i will type activity type find next it will automatically jump to that field where it is available so i will simply double click it will move to the right side then i will adjust its place you can see here just simple double click here it will expand the its field uh, here you can change the activity type by clicking on this a drop down 
list will appear you can change your uh, uh, requisite activity type from here but uh, uh, all of our activities right now at this moment is the task dependent we're not going to change any of uh, this activity type but uh, the purpose of uh, uh, adding this column is just to tell you how to do how to change the activity type in the columns as well